Hi and welcome to this week's Makeup Masterclass. Today is all about accentuating the eye shape. So I've taken inspiration from those really beautiful big doll-like eyes. So we're painting in those lashes, we're kind of using white and black eyeliners to accentuate the shape and then finally finishing it off with a really beautiful coral lip. So first of all, I'm going to work by perfecting Mimi's eyebrows and just, she's already got a really lovely quite skinny shape so I'm just going to tidy that up and add a few more little hairs just at the front of the brow. So I'm using this really great pen by Suku which is a kind of grey shade and it just, it's very very fine so you can actually draw in the individual hairs. So I'm just going to make that shape a little bit more prominent drawing in the hairs, painting them in, perfect her brow like this and these pens are really great because they're so soft it's almost like using a kind of a powder or something. So now I'm going to begin creating that doll-like shape and I'm going to work by making her eyes look kind of much bigger through using whites and blacks to almost like redraw her actual eye shape. So first of all I'm going to take this white pencil and I'm going to line her eyes and I'm going to rub that pencil into the lash line as well because basically we're trying to eliminate her natural lashes, her natural lower lashes so that we can re-kind of position them further down her eye and make her eye look much much bigger. So I'm going to really go quite heavy there with that white pencil and I'm just going to bring it out a tiny touch as well like that so I'm going to ultimately make her eye shape even longer as well. And then to reinforce that white I'm going to take a white powder and just seal over the top of it so I'm going to use my Kat Von D palette because it's got loads, oh that's like the best colour as well, oh well I'm going to use my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this white powder and I'm just going to go over the top of it like this and I'm going to just flatten it out and that will help to seal in that white colour like that. Okay, so next I'm going to take my black pencil and I'm going to begin to draw that eye shape in. So I'm going to go on her top line first. This is actually quite a nice soft pencil, so I'll be able to blend it out really well. Take it out like that. Are you coming for me, Danny? And then I'm going to drag it under like that. And now I'm going to blend that out. So I'm just taking a sort of a soft, small brush here, and I'm just going to blend it under her eye like that. And just out to the side. Blend the top as well. And I'm taking it under the, her natural crease there. And, just, and I'm going to go back in with a much sort of more defined black now. I'm going to use this black liquid liner and I'm just going to just tidy that edge up a bit there. Like that, so we've got a bit more of a defined shape. So now I'm going to add some colour into her lid. So let's go for this really kind of nice metallic-y green. I'm just going to pop that on her lid. And I'm going to take a, a darker shade again and I'm just going to blend out that top line a little bit more just to kind of add a bit more depth to the outer corner of her eye. So just taking that black there and just shading out a little bit more. And I'm going to put a little bit of darkness just onto the, the inner socket as well, just in there, shape the eye out a little bit. And then I'm going to hit all of that inner region with something much lighter to kind of really lift the eye and give it a little bit more shape. And just put a little bit of white in there. And I'll just put a little bit more shimmer into that inner corner. So now I'm going to begin painting her lashes in and I'm going to start by working on the lower lid, what would kind of be the, the lower lid here. So I'm going to just start painting them in like this. Just 
just making them a little bit finer as we get to the front of the eye. And then I'm just gonna make them kind of a little bit thicker at the base like that. And you can just tidy up any of those lashes that have kind of gone a bit funky. Just a little bit of bioderma, clean up that one. And any little marks that you might have got from some fallout from the eyeshadow. And now I'm gonna go back in with this black pencil, close your eyes for me, and I'm just gonna go in quite heavy on the top there. This is where we're gonna put our fake lash. And so we, we want that area to be a lot darker and denser. So now I'm gonna put a really nice big fluffy lash on her top lash line. I'm using these nice MAC big chunky eyelashes. So you wanna just measure across, that looks like it's a good length for her. You might wanna trim it down if your model's eyes are slightly sort of shorter than the lash. Pop some duo on. And you want to position it so the end of the lash comes out a little bit further than the eye and almost kind of cheats and meets the bottom lash line. When they're halfway sort of to dried, you want to just lift them up so they almost stick to that extra glue that you put on and you can kind of almost like control how high they kind of come up so you get a really good curl. So if you you know, splodge on a load of glue when you stick them down, you can then have a little bit more playtime with how they sort of, they curl up like that. So just take your tweezers or your finger and just kind of roll them up and that will help to keep them look really nice and lifted. And then you just want to take a little bit of mascara and just colour in those underneath lashes, just so on the top lash line they all blend really seamlessly together. And it's fine if you get some on the lashes too, it's all good. So now that you've got these really big, beautiful, elongated eyes, I'm just gonna sort of tidy up the rest of the skin. I'm gonna pop some white powder just kind of underneath, just to kind of accentuate the kind of the, the cheekbones and the cheeks a little bit, give it that nice sort of dusty pale feeling. I'm just, I'm kind of just trying to work out what will be a nice, um, you know, like complementary shade. And I think this kind of really beautiful dusty pink or that kind of corally orangey pink would be really nice. So I'm just gonna put some of that on her lips really lightly. Um, we don't really want a sort of a hard lip line. So we just want a really nice touch of color. That's really good. And that kind of has that lovely 60s pastel shade to it. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit on and just blend it out a little bit with my finger and having a, you know, that pale lip keeps all the attention on the eyes. And then with that same shade, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of color just up into her cheeks so that you get a kind of a nice peachy pink just on her, on and around her cheekbone like that. Bring it back into that lovely kind of doll-like world. And I'm keeping that blush quite low. I'm not going up too high into the cheekbone because you know, dolls have that, that sort of the apples of their cheeks are very pink. So we're just keeping it round that area like that. So that was how to create a really lovely elongated eye look. I kind of took inspiration from a doll eye where I brought the lower lash line down a little bit further just to give you that extra space and make the eye look even bigger than it was. And then I finished the look with a really nice kind of corally peachy color. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next week.